Good afternoon, learners. I want to review with you the assignment coming up, plan your request email and write your request email. And one way to get to that is to go to module or either assignments. I prefer to go to modules. And then you go down to week two and plan your request email. You may not have any problems with this, but I need to review it with you. Okay. It says plan your request email. It's important that you really read. Sometimes um, learners have a tendency just to look at this right here, maybe a little bit of this, and then you write about a company you're interested in, what they do, who they employ. That's, in, that's important to know and what's it like to um, work in a particular industry. And the letter that you're writing, is it to a, a corporation? Is it a training program? You need to look at each of these three uh, descriptions and note what type of email that you are writing for uh, asking for information. And then um, it says, here's a few ideas to help you figure out whom to contact. Okay. You, you can utilize your personal network, people you already know, and get connected with a person, a company, a training program in your chosen industry. And it's important that when you send an email that you don't send a blanket email, but you find someone in that organization, be it training or be it a uh, volunteer or be a, a corporation find a person that can answer your questions and address your email to them otherwise it get thrown in the trash okay you want to read the ideas to help you to figure out who to contact like here's google do a google search so you click on that and that'll take you there and then uh, you can use search terms as manufacturing training, Philadelphia, or public health clinic, or your, your zip code. You, you have to re read. This is a reading and writing course. So you must read the instructions, understand it, and then attempt to do the assignment. Most of the time, if you really read it, maybe you don't understand it that first time. Go back and look at it again. Highlight it. Underline it. Okay. And then it says, because you don't know the person whom you will be contacting, you must use formal language. Uh, some of you have been used to using language on uh, the social media or you know just friends and everything okay formal languages is it has to be a complete sentence and it can't be using like tr uh, contraction you all it has to, i mean y'all or i'm it has to be i am um and these are things you probably will want to look in the English book uh, or go do a search on, um, on Google to find out. And, and I think your next writing or even in this one, uh, you have a, a form of writing that you have to identify and it's important for you to do that because you're gonna need it for the rest of this course. Uh, okay, and it's I will be look, looking at your work 
and when you're not using um, the appropriate grammar or spelling, it takes off from your grade. So t don't come in and just rush it. I'd rather you to do it right and be a little late than to come in and just put it together and you haven't done anything because you're wasting my time and your time. And then these are some steps that you should follow and you should always do this. Make sure the steps or the guideline that's given to you that you look at it, you understand it, and then you follow it. It says download, request email plan. There are two or three ways you can get it. So you click on here. And it lets you see what it looks like. That's the way it should look like. And then it says you can save it to your desktop. Okay, you can click it there. Let's go back. And you can click it here. And this will, this will put, it, put it down on your desktop. Put it in the file where you can find it. Sometimes you can write, create a new folder for week two. I ha have like week one, week two, three, four, five, and six. And put like week two's work. So you can save it uh, there. Okay, and most of the times it's going to bump it right here so you can click it and see. So you want to type your answers to the question on the document. Okay, you can do that. It's working. Um, before they might have had a little problem. Use spelling and grammar check. Okay, there's a, a grammar checker out there called Grammarly. Uh, it's free and it will identify uh, your spelling and your grammar. A word also have a, a, a grammar check. You want to scan your work before you turn it in because those errors take from your grade, but then uh, everyone mostly is working to, for their GED, so you got to be able to read and write formally and appropriately, and your grammar and your and your spelling has got to be exceptional. So now you have an opportunity to work on it. So let's do that. Okay. This one right here, check your tone. Do you sound both professional and friendly without being too friendly or too stiff? Ask a friend or a colleague to read it and give you feedback. And that's important. Uh, if you're too friendly, hello, Joe, hi, Jill, all that, that's not formal. Uh, you, hello might not be too bad but when you say hi or hey well that's not very good submit your complete work save your document to your course folder work in progress and move the document from the computer desktop to the trash can i would be careful about moving anything to the trash can until the course is over because if something happens then uh, you have it and also, you can click here and see an example from My Place Learners. And there are resources, Internet Safety Guide, and it teach you how to create, save, and submit assignments. So if you have any questions, let me know. Everybody has Michelle's telephone and text message. Okay, right now, I've been requesting that she helped you. 
Okay, you're all adults. Okay, so you got to learn to ask for help yourself. Because after this class, guess what? Dr. Z is not going to be there to answer for you. So you have to get confidence in yourself and not be thinking that you're ashamed. It's no shame to not to know. It's a shame that there's help for you and you fail to take it. So you work on that. You work on that. Okay, that's all I have for today. Goodbye.